Welcome back to another episode of the Arc Genesis Survival Guide. In this episode of our Let's Play Arc Genesis series, we are going to tame a mammoth, actually two mammoths. In the last episode, we built this hunting and taming lodge in the Arctic biome, and now we're gonna put it to the test when we get a mammoth stuck on top of the roof. And somehow Phoenix slept through the entire thing. But after some brief awkwardness, we finally managed to trap and tame two mammoths at the same time, a male and female, so we could start our mammoth breeding program. And when we pair these guys up with the Dodicarus we just tamed in the last episode, we're going to be able to get all the stone, wood, and thatch we need in the easy island areas so we can build massive stone fortresses all over the place in total safety. I also tried to tame two ankylosaurs and uh, both of them just vanished. And uh, yeah, apparently that happens sometimes. So I really hope you enjoy this episode. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of helpful guides, tutorials, and live streams and let's plays that you're going to really enjoy and you won't want to miss any of those. All right, so here we are in our hunting and taming lodge that we built in the Arctic biome. Now, if you teleport to the northwest section of the Arctic biome, you're gonna land really close to this spot. We actually built on a ledge just above the teleport location because there's a really nice ravine that you can use as a natural taming pen. You have to build one set of stone walls and then the entire thing is a perfect taming pit to tame stuff. We also have these rocks here to to my left which are contain oil and there's some obsidian a little bit further to the left on the top of this ridge you can barely see that on the left of the screen so it's a great spot for uh, starting out in the arctic and i'm looking around because usually there's some mammoths somewhere out in this direction of course we have a therizinosaur there's always a therizinosaur those things are a real pain but with our little hunting and taming pit we can easily get them to chase us down there and then shoot down on them from the left above so we've got a pretty nice setup we also finally have some total uh you know fur armor that'll keep us nice and warm out here even when it's pretty cold one torch will be enough to keep us to where we're not freezing you know most of the time even at nighttime it's not too bad ah here we go there's a mammoth so I don't really care what gender it is, I really want to get a mammoth because they are amazing gatherers at wood. Now we have a Dodicarus, which is going to get us tons of stone, we tamed that in the last episode, but when you pair that with something that's really good at gathering wood, you can get all the materials you need to make some really awesome stone fortresses. Oh, now she's coming, great. Now these things are actually relatively easy to tame, even though they're huge. It's gonna take a lot of tranks to knock this thing unconscious, and uh, if we allow it to run away, it's gonna be real dangerous to chase it. But they're relatively slow, relatively easy to outrun, so that's the good news. The bad news is it's gonna take her a while to get up to where I want her to be, because I'm trying to trap her in our taming pen. So, uh, Let's see here. I'm going to try to get her just a little further up this ridge to our base, and then if I can get her to fall over the ledge next to our base, then we have this really great taming pen set up, and I'll show you that in just a second. So, uh, looks like she's still pretty mad, and uh, we're barely having to sprint to stay ahead of her. The good news is, oh man, she's just knocking over all the trees. The good news is she uh, is going to be pretty easy to knock out and we have tons of tranquilizers now so we tamed a triceratops a couple of episodes ago and uh, we popped into the fire biome into a relatively safe spot to tame it and uh, pretty soon after that they actually changed all the teleport locations so uh, you may actually notice in our uh, episode before this we have a we teleported using the north teleport location in the winter biome but uh, it turns out they updated that they added a new teleport teleport location so if you teleport to the uh, snow biome north now it'll take you to the frozen lake and now it's northwest to get to this spot that freaked me out at first because I thought our entire base was going to be inaccessible once I uh, saw that so thank goodness that's still working okay cool so let's see if I can get her to get up on top of this roof and yep she's coming all right I'm going to try to get her to fall over the roof and down the ledge, and there's a taming pit right below. Oh, there she is. Okay, great. Oh, no, she's lost interest. Come back over here. Come on over here, girl. Just come over the roof, and where, where did she go? 
Um, I don't see her. Did she? She doesn't seem to have fallen over. Uh, hold on a sec. Did she go the other way? I may have just gotten really unlucky and she started running away, in which case we might have a really hard time taming her. Oh, good, okay. So she's running straight into a brick wall. That's great. As long as she keeps going in that direction, we should be able to knock her out. And she seems to be pretty well stuck. Oh, perfect. This is great. So this is a relatively safe ledge. Uh, our foundations are blocking any spawns down here. And it's a pretty high ledge above us that anything can wander down from. So I think we're going to be in good shape. I'm going to put some medjo berries in her inventory. And uh, yeah, we've got enough tranks to keep her unconscious for quite a while. We have like 80 on me and a bunch more in the base. So, uh, I'm actually going to try to make this a double tame here. We've got her already taming up, and mammoths actually have a lot of torpidity. So it's going to be a while before she goes back, uh, you know, wakes up again. So, I saw another mammoth down here near where she was, and I'm not sure if I can get that one to come up here. There was a male and a female pair I scouted out earlier, because uh, I actually tried to do a live stream where I was going to tame a mammoth, and I couldn't find any of them. Like, there's usually mammoths all over the place out in this area, but, uh, you know, for whatever reason, I just got really unlucky and couldn't find a single mammoth last time I tried to do this live. So I waited until I actually spotted a pair, and, uh, okay... As long as that Therizinosaur stays over there. Therizinosaurs are crazy dangerous, but they're kind of nearsighted. So you don't have to get too close to them to get them to aggro, but I should have a little bit of distance. Okay, so somewhere around here I saw another mammoth. It was a higher level male. And of course there's a bear over there, lots of dangerous stuff. There's a Dodicarus, I could use another one of those, but uh... Ah, there we go, okay, great. So, if I can get this guy to chase me back up to the base... Oh, it worked, nice. I've been having some little glitchiness with my uh, crossbows lately. Alright, come on up here, guy. Looks like we got two bears over there and an abominable snowman. Okay, great. Just gonna keep an eye out, uh, make sure no- Oh, did he lose interest? Come on, guy. Get over here. I am right here, come kill me. Yeah, you know you want to strike me down and we shall become even more powerful. Yeah. Okay, so, now the mammoth is chasing me. I just need to keep him from getting stuck on these rocks. And uh, a lot of dinos, you can get them stuck on trees and stuff, but uh, mammoths will just knock the tree right over. There we go. Okay, now he's coming. All right, follow me up here. I have a nice little taming pit waiting for you, mammoth. All right, good. I was afraid he was running away. I'm not 100% sure what his level is, but uh, hopefully we won't have a nasty surprise when we start taming him. And uh, if he's too low level, he might just run off like the other one. So hopefully this will work out. We're just going to get him all the way up this ledge while we're trying to avoid that Therizinosaur, because I know it's right around here. All right, good. I don't see it, and he has lost interest again. I tell you what, this guy has the lowest attention span ever. Come on over here, guy. Kill me. Up oh, there's the Therizinosaur. That should be far enough away that we'll be okay, although he's ramming his head into the wall. Oh my gosh, Mammoth. This guy is so incompetent. I'm, I'm trying to think if I even want this guy at this point, you know? It's like some dinos are just not very bright. All right, let's see here. Okay, I think we're safe. Don't turn around, oh my gosh. How does this guy survive in the wild being this dumb? Okay, come on up here, come on, come on. Little further, guy, a little further. We've got a long ways to go. All right, I think we're gonna pull this off now as long as we can keep him away from the ledge and we can keep the Therizinosaur away from us. Cause uh, I tell you what, once those things start going after you, you are in big trouble. And I've only got one set of fur armor right now. Uh, we've been trying to save up enough for another one and we're every time we get a chance, we see something with fur on it. Don't turn around, get back over here. Okay, I can finally scan him and it looks like he's a pretty decent level. I'm not really worried about getting something super high level right away, but, uh, you know, the main thing is I need something that's going to harvest wood really quickly. By the way, I leveled up a decent amount while I was gathering all the stone and materials manually for all the, uh, you know, base that we built here. So I've actually got a high enough level to make the mammoth saddle. I think it's like level 30-ish, something around there. Alright, so we got that mammoth over there, unconscious. Since this guy's an herbivore, he should not mess with the tamed mammoth over there. Alright, 
So now is the moment of truth. Can I get him to fall off the ledge at just the right spot to fall into the pit, which is right below here? If he goes over too soon, he won't hit the pit, and if he goes over too late, he's going to kick my butt. All right, come on, guy. Come on. A little further. So I put these ledges together so I can try to get stuff to chase me off the roof. Okay, this should hopefully be perfect. Oh, he destroyed my torches. Great. No, don't get off the roof. Oh, great. Okay. So he could apparently hit our storage box there. Uh, all right, this is not so good. Apparently Phoenix is still sleeping through this whole thing. Oh, great. Okay, so now we have the entire inventory of the storage box just sitting there. So let's get that all transferred. Uh, don't want to lose that. That will despawn after a little bit, and I do not want that to happen, because that's all of our stuff. But thankfully we have this uh, smithy, which should be pretty well protected. And he has totally lost interest again. Dude, you've got the uh, attention span of a squirrel here. Okay, so, come on back over here. We're going to try to get him to follow us down this ladder. Okay, great, so he's still mad. It is always so hard to actually target the ladder on these things. I really, uh, really have trouble with that. Okay. Really? Really? You lost interest again? Am I not entertaining enough for you? Are you not entertained? Come on. Come on. Just, just come on right over here. Over the ledge. There it's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be feeling that in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Yep. No. No. Oh my gosh. This guy. This mammoth is the worst. I mean, look at him. He's not even not even functioning properly. Okay, come on down here. All right. So I extended a little wall up here on the edge because I noticed another mammoth managed to wander out. I don't know if you guys saw that. I was trying to shoot down a level 90-something mammoth earlier, and he just wandered right out of the pit and ran off. So I uh, modified it just a little bit added one extra wall so I can hopefully keep that guy in there and uh, we'll be finding out very soon if I die that he was not stuck in the pit but hopefully we're good now I've got these ladders set up so I can climb up here and uh, he should be pretty well trapped oh, okay not too worried about losing that charcoal so I've extended the base a little bit so we've got a bit more room here I built a nice smithy and I built a nice little porch so we can just snipe down on anything stuck in the pit and this is extremely helpful so where this porch is right here you can see the whole pit you can shoot down on stuff you get a clear shot and it cannot reach you okay great she is still well unconscious and it's gonna be a while before she wakes up so I think we're in good shape for her now I just need to keep shooting this guy down and we should be totally safe where we are. Now we could tame pretty much anything. Uh, we actually managed to knock out a Therizinosaurus on the last episode and we had it unconscious in this pit but we did not have enough tranquilizers to keep it unconscious so I didn't have a good setup yet for uh oh is that thing unconscious now? It doesn't seem to be moving. Let's go find out. Once again, I'm going to find out very quickly if I'm wrong about that thing being unconscious, but uh, here we go. At least he seems to have de-aggroed because the music is nice and calm again. All right, let's see here. Got to get a snack for me, keep enough food for the mammoths. You know how it is. All right, so let's make sure she's in good shape. He should be pretty well unconscious here. I'm just going to top off her torpidity so I can go down and tame him easily. There we go. All right, that should be enough to keep her unconscious. Great. I'm still freezing a little bit, but this torch will help. And here we go. One thing about the Arctic is you are always running out of food because it's so dang cold out here. And I think it's getting close to nighttime, so it's about to get really cold. You can tell when the temperature shifts, when the light gets a little bit lower. Uh, okay, here we go. So he is definitely unconscious. And now we just need to drop some medjo berries in his inventory and we can tame him up. I'm hopefully going to grow some crops pretty soon. I'm thinking the bog biome would be a great place for that because it rains all the time. Okay, cool. So he's actually going to be a pretty decent tame and uh, we now have a male and female mammoth both taming up. We just have to keep an eye on them for a very long time. And this is a very slow process, taming up mammoths on medjo berries. It's going to be a while before I have those advanced crops to use to tame them. So it's going to be a slow process. So I'll probably work on the base a little bit. And uh, if I happen to see anything else that's good to tame out here, I'm still in the market for an ankylosaur. And uh, we'll give that a shot, see if we can tame one of those while we're taming these guys up. Because... Uh, 
I think there's still room in the taming pit for one more. So, we're gonna let these guys tame, see what we can find. I'll scout out a little bit, see if I can find some more uh, stuff, and, you know, try to tame something else and build out the space a little bit. So, we'll be right back. So while we wait for those mammoths to tame up, I'm going to show you guys the obsidian real quick. So uh, we've been checking on these guys, making sure they're in good shape, and uh, keeping their torpidity topped off while they're taming slowly. I've been jumping back and forth between the uh, islands of the ocean biome, getting a bunch more tranks, and coming back over here with the berries and all the good supplies that I need. So, let's see here, this rock over here is covered in oil, so if we harvest those rocks that kind of have a black tint to them, those will actually give us lots of oil, which we're going to use for gasoline pretty soon, excuse me. Now, this spot over here has actually got a lot of obsidian, it's a really easy, pretty safe spot to grab that, so all of these rocks, even though they're covered in snow, they're actually obsidian rocks. And uh, once I get an ankylosaur out here, I'm going to be able to get tons of obsidian and oil really quickly from this area. It's just far enough away from our base that it'll keep respawning. So that's been the main way I've been getting tons of oil and obsidian. And uh, of course, I have my map turned off. I forgot about that. I'll fix that setting pretty soon. But, uh, you know, it's a real easy spot. Uh, check out the last episode if you want to see the exact location of our base here. But uh, this will give you some pretty good, easy obsidian and make it so we'll get all the uh, polymer we need once we get our fabricator set up, which won't be too long from now. Oh, here we go. Finally found an ankylosaur. So I've been scouting out this valley and uh, killing a couple sheep so I could get some pelts. And there we go. We finally found an ankylosaur, which I've been looking for for a while. It's a low-level male. Not a great find, but uh, let's punch it and see if it'll come after us. Ankylosaurs are super slow. Like, you can casually walk away from them and just pelt them down with a slingshot if you want to tame them really easily. But uh, hopefully I can get this guy into the taming pit. Did he lose? interest already man dinos these days I tell you what they have no attention span all right uh, I kind of hate this area because these little shrubs make it really hard to see oh there he is yikes I'm having to like squint through the underbrush and see if this guy's actually chasing me because he's gonna club me in the face if he gets too close yeah, he is really mad now. So our taming pen is right up at the top of this ledge here, and if I can keep him chasing me just a little further, and he's slowed down. Okay, punch! Alright, there we go. So, uh, I prefer punching these guys just because I don't want to knock him unconscious before he gets up here. There's a lot of dangerous stuff out here, and uh, it's way easier if he's actually in the pit. Okay, come on around here. Once again, we've got an herbivore, so I'm not worried about him eating my mammoth while it's taming up, but uh, I will have to be careful that his club doesn't accidentally hit it. They can die from collateral damage, but if I can get him just a little further up here, we have our nice little natural taming pit. Alright, he has lost interest, right? There we go. Great, okay. So, i got to be careful he doesn't get stuck on the mammoth, but there should be plenty of room down here. Alright, great. Come on down, the Lankylosaur. And... Oh, come on, he lost interest already? Oh, okay. Let me get this attached here. And can I shoot him? No. Okay, I gotta come around the side. Tell you what, I cannot keep these guys' attention lately. Okay. I'm gonna give him one more nice friendly punch, and then we can be friends. Hey, buddy. Punch. Oh no, they're so slow at turning, he's got to run way out there to get him to turn around here. It's so hard to maneuver these guys in tight spaces. Okay, there we go. Now, don't lose interest. Gotta get my crossbow ready here. Come on down. Alright, perfect. Now, he is nice and trapped. Oh, and he's really trapped. He's like wedged in between the rocks there. That's perfect. And Kylosaurs are actually a lot wider than they look because they've got spikes sticking out the sides there. And it looks like since he's slowly levitating and turning around in the air, that means uh, he's running away from us. So he should be pretty close knocked out. We're just getting a real low level one because he'll still be very helpful for gathering metal and obsidian and oil out here. So hopefully we'll be able to just stick him in a cryopod. Ah, there we go. All right. So he's unconscious. And Kylosaurs are actually a pretty easy tame. So we'll give him some medjo berries too and we'll be in good shape. 
Now, in case you missed it, um, I've got a nice little base that's just a, a raft parked next to the eastern islands in the ocean biome, and I have a trike just sitting there, and, uh, you know, one swing with a trike gets me, like, you know, a stack of medjo berries every swing, so it's really easy to get all the narcos and medjos that I need. The main hard thing to get out there is meat, spoiled meat for the tranks, and I've been using my seagull to harvest fish in just tons and tons of fish, so we're in pretty good shape for keeping these guys unconscious. Alright, so let's see how this ankylosaur is doing. Um, there's no ankylosaur. What? There's no way he could have escaped this, and he shouldn't have even woken up by now. Do you know anything about this? Yeah, don't play coy with me. I'm, I know you're responsible, kangaroo. Okay, so apparently bolas don't work on those. I had to try. I was, uh, you know, that's easy pelt. So, yeah, that ankylosaur just vanished. That's cool, I guess. Guess we'll have to try to find another one. Okay, well, we're back again for another run to the islands and getting a lot of good supplies over there. And it looks like our mammoth finished taming. Yes, okay, cool. So this is the female mammoth, level 18, not too great a level, but it's a mammoth and it's going to be awesome. This thing's going to level up really fast because we're just going to mow down the islands with her and get tons of palm trees harvested, get enough wood for basically everything we're going to need to build. So this is awesome. We've got enough... Uh, uh, stuff to make a saddle and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab a cryopod we'll put her in the cryopod and uh, store her for now in the smithy and uh, wait until the other one is finished taming up so once we get these two tamed we can actually start breeding our pair of mammoths it's gonna be super helpful and uh, we'll get the saddle made up real soon too Well, we're still waiting for the male mammoth to tame up. It's amazing how much longer it takes when it's uh, level 40 instead of a level 8. 18, I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Got another ankylosaur. Level 13 male. Still hoping for a female, but a 13 will do for sure. Okay, great. And it's chasing me. I've actually noticed it helps a lot to uh, scan it with Helena first, because then I can see the little box through the underbrush, which shows me if it's chasing, even for just a couple seconds. That's very helpful. So it's cold, it's nighttime, it's a blizzard, and oh, great. That was not so smart whacking him with my torch, because now I have no torch. Okay. Anyway, let's see if this guy, oh, and an abominable snowman. Good stuff. So hopefully that thing's not going to aggro on me. They're not too aggressive, but they can chase after you if you get too close to them. So uh, yeah, this will be fun. Okay, come on out here. I uh, just got to get him to chase me into the pit without aggroing that monkey. And then we'll have to take care of him. All right, come on over. Oh, no, I'm stuck. No, 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 no. This could be bad. Now, ankylosaurs are slow, but they hit hard. That, okay, come here. I'm going to punch him again. All right. If you get hit by that club, it really hurts. They can actually take you down pretty fast. Okay, gotta get him up over this ledge. Still got our mammoth taming up. And now, come on down, don't get stuck. All right, we could do this. Now, hopefully it won't glitch like the last one. All right, a little further. Perfect. That was a much smoother time than the last guy. And it looks like he's, he's hovering still, but we'll see if this works. All right, now from here, it's just an easy trank, and he is totally incapacitated and stuck, so... Now, he's floating just like the last guy, so I'm a little bit worried, but maybe I can get him to chase me... Oh, come on. Really? Really? Okay. So, it turns out this amazing taming pen does not work on ankylosaurs. I guess they're just the right size to get stuck and then disappear, so... Well, uh, we'll have to try that again later. I'm, I'm sure we'll get one sometime soon, but at least ankylosaurs are pretty easy to find and tame out here, so... It's not a huge loss, but man, I wish they would just actually obey the laws of physics, right? Okay, we are back from another island run, and oh man, we got a green lettering on our mammoth. That means we have tamed him. Yes! 
I'm actually really relieved he didn't glitch through the ground and disappear after all that too, because that was a long tame. But here we go. We brought our uh, cryopod ready, and we finally tamed this mammoth. So we now have a male and female breeding pair of mammoths. And the first thing I'm going to do is start breeding them, get a saddle on them, and start gathering tons of wood. I also built this second ladder and a stone porch, so it's a little harder to break over here. So I certainly didn't waste any of that time. Now we have a much bigger snow base. All right, so here we are. We've got our saddle made, and I'm finally riding this mammoth. And I'll show you why this was so worth all that trouble to tame these guys. So I am smashing down these palm trees and getting hundreds and hundreds of wood in just a matter of seconds with these things. Also, you can see I'm getting thousands of berries per second, which is pretty crazy, too. We have all the berries we need forever, all of the narco berries, which is going to make it really easy to get tames and tranks and all that good stuff and uh, we don't even have to make them all into narcotics we can use a lot of them just in the raw narco berry form now another great thing about mammoths is they actually have an ability that reduces the weight of any wood in their inventory by 75 percent so they can carry way more wood than any other dinos except like beavers which also reduce the weight argent avis also have a weight reduction for wood but these things are kind of amazing and uh, we're just getting ridiculous amounts of wood with them. Now it's a lot faster if I harvest like this if I type into the search bar berry because that'll allow me to select all the berries and drop all of them because uh, he gets encumbered after every couple of steps because he got so many berries. I'm also going to start breeding these two mammoths to get baby mammoths and uh, we'll be able to keep breeding them and eventually we'll have enough mammoths that uh, every one of our bases and outposts can have one for gathering wood wood and berries and all that good stuff. It's basically a limitless source of food. But check that out, like less than a minute, we've already got a few stacks of wood. And when we pair this with our Dodicarus, who can actually harvest these salt pillars for stone, we get stupid amounts of building materials for making really nice stone fortresses. And in the next couple of episodes, we're going to start building in that outpost we made in the bog. We started that in one of the first couple episodes of this series. We're going to make an epic taming pen, make a really big stone base, and get all kinds of good stuff going. And we're also going to level up stupid fast by building lots of stone stuff. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if we can't get like 30 levels in less than an hour just grinding up some of these stone structures we're going to be building with. So we're going to head back to the eastern island where I have my raft parked next to a very easy ramp because it's a great spot you can teleport right there have a really easy little island platform and you can build on the raft as long as you drive it out to the outside of the mission areas and then build on it bring it back to the island so it's a really cool setup it's been really helpful for me anyway so I really hope this episode was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up that really helps and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet already and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we have lots more content coming and we've done a lot of awesome stuff in this series and I can't wait to show you guys. You're not going to want to miss any of that. We will also have Phoenix coming in as a special guest very soon for some more live episodes and we're going to have a really awesome setup in the bog where we can go tame some really dangerous and fun dinos very soon. So keep an eye out for our next live streams and let's plays and we will see you very soon in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. That helps us so much. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new ARK videos and live streams coming soon and you won't want to miss any of them. You can do so many awesome things in ARK, but it is really hard to figure out 
out on your own. Check out the links at the end of this video to browse our huge library of fun, clean, and helpful ARC guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays. If you would like to earn awesome rewards while supporting this channel, click the join button or link next to the subscribe button to learn more about our new channel memberships. You can also join our awesome Discord community at the link in the description of this video or on top of the channel homepage. And if you want to see my wife and I play lots of other fun video games together, visit our other YouTube channel, The Console Co-op Couple, using the link in the video description or in the channel homepage. And now I want to give a shout out to some of the biggest supporters of this channel. A special thank you to our biggest supporters, Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Wolf Girl Be Like, Kelly Rajak, and Emmy Fisher. You guys are all awesome and we so appreciate your support. Now, if you'd like to be a monthly supporter and get a shout out at the end of our videos, check out the join button next to the subscribe button for more information about that. And for everyone else, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.